It was a fling. Right, it meant nothing. Stop lying. You're embarrassing yourself. She just saw us, admit it. I'm going to leave. So, carry on as you were. Don't move. This is your way out, Robert. Just take it. I don't want a way out. I want to marry Chrissy. You know what? Fine. You say anything to anyone? Yeah, and what? I won't waste my time. Now who's the village bike? <laughs> Begging you, please, just delete the photo. No. Come on, it's my wedding day. Yeah, cos you gave us stuff about mine. Come on, Katie, you're no saint. You've been in the same position as me. I think I'd remember if you had a gay phase, Robert. It wasn't a phase, it was, it was meaningless sex. I love Chrissy. Please, I, I can't break her heart. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have started seeing a fella. Just a thought. We were here to end things. He was upset because I didn't pick him. So upset you had to snog his face off. It was a goodbye kiss, I swear. I will let you argue that one out with Chrissy. Then you can have whatever you want, OK? You can have this place for free if that's what it takes. Wow. You really are stuck to the back of that closet, aren't you? You know, your marriage is hanging by a thread. I made that happen. All you have to do to fix it is keep quiet. You're not Auntie Becky? No, I'm the emergency bridesmaid. You look really pretty. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's a nice dress, isn't it? Right. Big day's here. How are you feeling about it? All right, since I spoke to you. Don't know why I was getting so stressed about the whole age thing. Robert makes my mum happy, so he cares. Good for you. Plus, I get the run of this place while they're on honeymoon. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. <gasps> well? Well, I do. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I second that. I got you this. What's this? I put a picture of Grandma in it. Oh, lucky is perfect. That's so thoughtful of you. Have an amazing day, Mum. Thank you. Oh, God, I think I'm going to start crying. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got loads of tissues for later. <laughs> Look at you. Right. Everyone ready for some arty shots in the grounds, cos that photographer is raring to go. Yes, just, um, two seconds for a quick makeup check. Has Robert been around here? No, because he's getting ready at the pub. Or not. Diane phoned. She said he, uh, popped out a while back. Yes, to get something for Chrissy. Oh, OK. Well, he's not popped out yet. So where is he, then? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Married twice, divorced twice. That'd be quite a record. And he'd be fine. Once he finds out I was telling the truth. Well, it's not like he's believed you before, is it? Yeah. I've got this now. Yeah? You've got that? But no farm. But hey, this is Andy we're talking about. It's not like he can't cope with failure. It's not like he gets depressed when things don't go his way. You're disgusted. Every time he looks at you, he's just gonna see what you've lost him. Unless I accept your offer. We say, you convince me to change my mind, you buy the place, and I figure out a way of coming up with the money. All behind Andy's back, right? Well, that's what keeping quiet means, yeah. All right, and what happens next time I do something you don't like? Nothing. No more grudges, that's the end of it. All of it. It'll be the start of an even bigger lie. <laughs> Who cares? What, cos you're already living one? No, not after I'm married, I'm not. Robert, getting married won't turn the gay thing off. No, I'm not gay. See, it all makes sense now. You're bitter and angry because you can't be yourself. I am being myself and I'm fine with it. Are you going to take the farm or not? No. No, Robert, I'm not. I just want... Voicemail again. Shall I have a scout around the village? We've lost the groom, not a dog. Didn't Lawrence put the kibosh on that Mexican dude? Fake heart palpitations at check-in, apparently. You're not thinking sabotage, are you? No, he's well over that now. <laughs> or Robert's handcuffed to a radiator somewhere. He's got more chance of being stuck under that monstrosity. <laughs> Eric under there, and all, is he? Shout if you can hear us, Eric. Shall we send help? <laughs> Eric's got a terrible cold. And this is fashion. Is Rob not back yet? No. We could have a runaway groom situation. You're joking? 
I want him to straighten something out. Yeah, join the queue. Katie reckons he's pulling the sale on the farm. What? Well, is he? Well, Lawrence doesn't seem to think so. And I'm, I don't know why he would without talking to me first. Unless she's accusing him again. Oh, I thought she was letting things lie. Well, so did I. But she can't leave him alone, Dan. I don't know what's got into her. Where is she now? I've no idea. I told her not to come to the wedding. I don't think I could look her if she did. I'll pay for the work. I'll throw in whatever else you need. It's not a real offer, though, is it? So you're just buying some time so you can figure out another way of shutting me up. What else are you going to burn, eh? It's real. I'll even let you keep the photo if you want. You can call it insurance. You threatened to kill me. You took this place away from us. Why on earth would I want to do a deal with you? You throw away everything you and Andy want just to spite me. This place should have been ours no matter what, Robert. When Christy finds out the truth, she'll see that. I think she'll reward you for destroying her life. I think she'll thank me. Yeah. You can't tell her. It's not up to you anymore. What the hell are you doing, Roberts? It is up to me. And you're staying away from Chrissy. What about shutting me in here? You're insane! No, Katie, you are. I told you to stay away from me. So you're forgetting something. You're not talking your way out of it, so don't even bother trying. Well, I wanted to tell her face to face, but now you've done this. I'll just have to text her, won't I? Suppose I might as well text everyone whilst I'm at it. Maybe call Andy too. Give it to me. I don't think so. Nice try. What's the code? It's your choice. I can easily smash it up. Do it. It's not like Aaron only much is waiting to back me up. Right, I've tried giving you what you want. If you're not going to take it, then you're giving me no choice. To do what? What burned me alive? See, I'm not scared of you anymore. Yeah. You should be. So, so what, you're going to beat me up now? You want an assault charge on top of everything else? I warned you, didn't I? See, I'm just going to love this. I'm not turning on anything. You know, I can't wait to see Chrissy's face. I can't wait to watch her realise the kind of guy you really are. This is your last chance, OK? I'm leaving. I'm going anywhere. You didn't I? Just do what I asked you. It's all set. Victoria's done. She's meeting us there. Still not a peep from Robert, though. Well, he knows where the church is. Bagsy, I don't have to sit next to the incredible sulk. I don't know why Katie's not answering her phone. Why don't you go and find her? It's obviously driving you mad. Well, it's Robert who's missing. Go and find him, then. Put us all out of our misery. I can't work out why Katie would make something like that up. She did a ponytail too tight. Who knows? Will you go and find the groom? There's good people here looking forward to a party. Right. I will. Just text me if you hear anything. Just when you think everyone's getting on for once. It'll be all over by the disco. It better be, or I'll eat this.
What? Something's happened. Oh, she told Chrissy that. You have to come back. No, I'm not lying for you. Her. Please, I need you. It's, it's really bad. Please come back. running a teeny bit late. Well, you can't be late. We're late. He's even later. Sorry. A couple of laps around the village should do the trick. See you in a few, then. Go easy on the gas, all right? <laughs> you don't think he's having second thoughts, do you? Second thoughts? Over my dead body, or his, with a combine harvest. Dad! He'll be here. <laughs> and his birthday. Your birthday. Wedding date. Why are you even still here? She fell. We were talking. We sorted everything out. The floor just collapsed. So then why have you phoned me? She needs an ambulance. It's too late for an ambulance. <sighs> the place has been derelict for years. I knew the floors needed work, but I didn't think... She should never have come here. She should never have come here! What happened when I went? We talked. I told her everything. She, she said she was going to keep quiet. She even deleted the photo. She stood right next to me. The floor just gave way. I, I tried to grab her, but it all happened too quick. Right, uh, we need to phone Andy. Well, you have to tell him. And the police. We need to phone the police. OK. OK. Wait, 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 what if they think I did something? Why would they? I'm not supposed to be here, Aaron. I'm supposed to be getting married. That's going to look bad, right? We'll, we'll, we'll tell them the truth. I don't think they're going to believe the truth, Aaron. Caught us together. She was threatening to tell Chrissy, and now she's dead. Me and her haven't been getting on for weeks. She told people I torched a caravan. Why would she do that? Because she hated me. I'm going to prison. No, you're not. I'm going to prison if Andy doesn't kill me first. Look, they'll, they'll do tests or whatever. They'll see that the floor was wrecked. Well, you could say you saw it. You could say you're a witness. What, no? No, no, I don't think it was both of us. It's Vic. She's been ringing me non-stop. What should I do? You should phone the police. Oh, we, we could just go. What, and leave her here? Well, if there's no one here, there'll be no questions. They'll, they'll work out it was an accident. You need to phone Andy and tell him his wife's dead. What, and go to prison? Just because you wanted to out me? Because you were selfish and jealous and you, you couldn't stand to see me get married? I never knew this would happen. You brought her here. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, if you're sorry, you'll help me. <laughs> 